This is mirror lure fishing. Twitch, twitch, pause. Come on, on the mirror lure. That's a big one. I saw him come up and get the mirror lure. Yo. That's the 27 MR. My favorite color, the Mardi Gras. So if you've never tried a mirror lure, y'all are missing out on such a fun bite. Unreal. That's insane. Absolutely insane. Let's just start with the most popular kind of basic mirror lure that most people start with. So we have the Mirrodin XL, so this is the MR27. And then we've got the, this is just the regular Mirrodin right here, and this is the MR17. And uh, so let's just get right to it. Hey, you gotta cast it out. Once you cast it out, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm, actually, I'm gonna show you guys as I'm wave fishing here, right off of this grass flat. So, the cool thing about mirror lures is you can work them fast, you can work them slow. But this is mirror lure fishing. Twitch, twitch, pause. That right there is everything you need to know about fishing a mirror lure. So it's twitch, twitch, pause. If you're brand new and you haven't ever fished the mirror lure, that's how you want to do it. Twitch, twitch, pause. And you guys, it is such a fun bite because all you're doing is twitch, twitch, pause. And like right now, our water temperature, we just had a cold front. So it's like 65 degrees right now. As the water temperature gets cooler, then you're gonna slow it down. That's it. When the fish are more active and they're chasing bait and you're seeing fish up on the flats or wherever you're fishing, um, chasing bait, you can do it a little faster. So. I'll run you guys through all of my different cadences. So let's say that there's a lot of fish uh, here on this flat and they're, and they're chasing bait. It's pretty much going to be like this, like a twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, pause. But I will say that the most common mistake that people make when they fish mirror lures is they fish it too fast. So the most common way that I fish these mirror lures is I cast it out. These mirror lures are suspending twitch baits. So this right here, this is like the most common uh, cadence and a way that I, technique that I, you know, work a mirror lure. So it's just gonna be that twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause, and just, that's all it's doing. It's just suspending in the water. And you don't need to Another common mistake that people make when they fish a mirror lure is they, they, you know, are too aggressive with their jerks. You don't need to be that aggressive, you know, and literally it's just like a twitch, just like this. Look at my rod tip. It's just a slight kind of jerk of the rod. These are suspending jerk baits, but you guys do not need to go like doing these crazy jerks like that because you're just, the fish is... The, this is supposed to mimic a struggling bait fish, whatever. So a lot of times you're gonna get bit on the paws. Another thing that you wanna be uh, aware of is where your rod tip is pointed. Is your rod tip pointed up or is your rod tip pointed down? So I'm fishing across these like submerged grass and oyster beds. As you can see, my rod tip is pointed slightly up. Uh, but if I'm fishing from a boat, sometimes my rod tip's gonna be pointed down and that's gonna allow your bait to get more into the strike zone. That right there, people, if you're fishing shallow areas, the mirror lure, you cannot beat it. You can't beat it. Because if you're fishing a soft plastic with a jig head or even weedless, you're gonna risk getting hung up across oyster beds nonstop. And we're just fishing across this, and so we're just fishing across this like submerged grass. So these right here, they suspend and it's just your bait is always in the strike zone. So that right there is the MR27. And again, you just adjust your cadence. So when it's like the winter time, I'm twitch, twitch, pause. And I'm pausing for literally like five to seven seconds. I'm not gonna do it because that would probably uh, take all this time that I have to do this tutorial. But again, so it's like when they're in the chasing bait and that's what you're doing, you're fishing a little bit um, faster and then you know as the water temperature cools then you want to slow down your cadence so you guys heard me adjusting my drag that reminds me uh, don't fish on a on a tight drag uh, 
I would say fish it on like a medium drag. Uh, and another common mistake that people make when they fish mirror lures, especially if you go from fishing live bait to fishing a mirror lure, it's almost like two different things where some people when they fish live bait, they're like setting the hook, uh, especially if you're like flounder fishing. And if you're fishing soft plastics, you're setting the hook. These treble hooks right here, redfish, speckled trout, snook, whatever game fish you're going after, you really don't need to set the hook. All you need to do is just reel down and come tight on the fish. That's it. Um, another common mistake that people make, I just remembered this too, is people have way too much slack in their line or they don't have any slack in their line. I know that sounds kind of complicated, but as you're working this mirror lure, let me just show y'all real quick. So as you're working the mirror lure and any jerk bait, you want just a little bit of slack in the line. You don't want too much, but you don't want your line just to always be tight because you want this lure to have the correct kind of, it's, it's that jerk bait and you want that, a little bit of that like erratic action to it. So just a slight bow in your line is what you need. All right, so some variations of that MR27, like I said, is you have the, the Gigantor. This is the Miradine Double XL. This is the MR37. The MR27 is what we just fished with. And then you have the 17. So I know what you're thinking. When do you use this giant one? When do you use this little one? I like to use this giant one right now when the speckled trout and the redfish are like most active. So in really like the transition when there's just like mullet moving. Right now is the mullet run. So there's mullet everywhere. So with this one, I use this when that fall fishing is in like full effect. That's when I'm pretty much only using the MR37, the Miradine Double XL. This is the electric chicken. And this right here is probably my favorite color for the Double XL. And um, it's funny because you will catch speckled trout about like this big, literally about the size of this lure. So do not let the size of this lure intimidate you with it being a little bit, well, much bigger than say like the smaller one, this MR17. So, the, so I will use this when the water temp is between, I would say 58, 59, about 60 degrees to uh, about 60 to 68 degrees when those trout and reds are like, oh my gosh, water's getting colder. I have to eat, I have to pack on the pounds. So that's when I'll use the MR37. When it's cooler water temperature in the winter time, that's when I'll use this little guy right here. And this little guy, it's got, so obviously bigger bait, it's heavier, so it's got a faster sink rate to it. Um, this one's lighter, so it's got a slower sink rate to it. This is perfect in the winter time. So December, January, February, I'm using this guy. And there's the variation of it, the MR18. So this is really popular in Virginia, North Carolina, because a lot of our trout and redfish are um, deeper in the winter months. So they're not really shallow, sometimes they're deeper. So this is the heavy dean. So it's a little bit heavier, and this one right here absolutely does work in the winter time. So in the winter, I'm using the MR17 and the MR18. Uh, I'm not trying to sell you guys on any rod at all. I'm just telling you guys what I like to use. This is the favorite jackhammer. So I really like this rod for this uh, because it has a very soft tip to it. Um, and one of the other things too, uh, so people, when it comes to knots, uh, some people like to tie a loop knot directly to their mirror lure. Y'all, I just tie a simple clinch knot or even a polymer knot. Um, people do say um, the loop knot tends to give the mirror lure more of like a natural action to it, but this is what I use. So now let's talk about top water. This right here is the top dog. And this is mirror lures top water bait right here. Uh, this profile is absolutely nasty. I love this color, comes in a bunch of different colors, but the profile is ridiculous. And I really like this color. Uh, I pretty much use this color. Uh, I prefer something probably a little darker and more cloudy water, but this color is legit. I like the redhead to it. Um, and it's more of the, like, so it's got like, you know, the vibration to it. You can hear the beads in the inside right there. 
So for fishing topwater, this is a walk the dog type of topwater bait. So uh, we, our topwater bite right now is absolutely going off right now. So all you want is a click, 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 click. You want that topwater to be walking the dog, making a zigzag motion. So some people like to fish a topwater with like a steady cadence. So it's just like click, 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 just like that. So as you can see my rod tip, I'm doing a steady retrieve on the reel and everything is working kind of in tandem with like my rod tip, twitch, 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 as I have a steady retrieve on my reel. So that right there is gonna give it that consistent click, 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 just like a mullet just swimming across. And what you wanna do, you can cast it, bomb it all the way across this flat, like this right here. Or you can cast it right up against, see how deep it is right off of this grass line? So these redfish, trout, snook, all of our predator fish, they're gonna be pin and bait right up against these. It's just like a drop off right here, just like a retaining wall. So what you wanna do with this top water is you wanna cast it right along these grass lines or right off of a point. So we've got a little point right down there with a little nook of a flat. That's perfect prime time to cast it right off of that. Probably about like 20 yards or so, right off of that point. Dang, there's tons of bait. Getting pushed right up against this grass line. Oh, did you see that? So top water cannot beat it. Wow, there's like fish popping right over there. So the cadence, sometimes you wanna give it maybe a pause. Oh, just had a little follow. So sometimes you wanna give it a little bit of a pause. And sometimes you wanna give it a little bit faster. But you wanna vary it up. Like I said, I know it sounds cheesy, but let the fish tell you what they want. Sometimes <laughs> I'll be like working it and I'll have my coffee right next to me and I gotta like stop, get a coffee and it pauses. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I just got blowed up. And then other times for other fish, even like a blue fish or striper, uh, when you're fishing top water, let's say the fish swipes at your top water and misses it. Some people, they stop. I don't like to do that. I like to work my top water faster because it kind of makes the fish more mad and they're, and they're just gonna come after it even more uh, aggressively. So um, when the fish swipes at it, um, that's where you, you can pause it, but I like to speed up my cadence a little bit. So that right there, that's the top water. That's how you fish that. You just want that steady click, 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 click. And um, if you wanna get real tricky with it, what I like to do, you know, mullet, if you watch them, they swim like all over the place, like very erratically. So when you're working top water, I do like click, 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 pause. Click, 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 pause. Click, 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 whatever. So just kinda make up your own cadence. It's kinda like playing Mortal Kombat video game. You just hit buttons and just do what works. And the more, uh, random to me the better so <laughs> uh, let's see what good else? analogy right all right so let's move on to what's up to all my Texas and all my wade fishing people that's right the Paul Brown you guys this right here this is a combination between a soft plastic and a hard plastic so all this is is it is a you've got a wire that runs through this hold on here we go Dang. that'll work so you've got a wire that runs right through the middle check this out so you can bend the tail down that's no. a tip secret of the pros people that's right you never heard about that mm -mm. yeah bend the tail down a little bit all y'all people in texas comment please on this video how y'all like to tweak your paul browns but these Paul Browns right here are nasty. These right here, look at this profile. Come on, that just looks so juicy. Um, so you've got this one and then you've got the Paul Brown fat boy. Look at that, Mardi Gras, people. Shoot, that right Shoot. there is ridiculous. And Daddy. let's see if we can get this on camera so y'all can see what this looks like in the water. Like. Look at that, it just sinks. Watch this, boom, look at that. 
I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but that right there, the Paul Brown. I love fishing a Paul Brown across shallow areas. So that's why this thing is so popular in Texas. The Paul Brown, uh, I believe it was actually started in Texas. And um, so all y'all Texas people absolutely love this wade fishing. All right, so for fishing a Paul Brown, it's kind of the same thing as fishing the Mirrodin in a way because you can almost fish it like a Mirrodin, that twitch twitch, but you can fish it like a soft plastic too. You can, look at this, just like a soft plastic. See how I'm just kind of like jigging it just like this? But they're very subtle, subtle jigs, subtle pops. And all it's doing is, it's like a mullet just going like this, just like going up to the surface. You guys, these speckled trout, big trout, redfish, snook, whatever, they cannot resist it. So the Paul Brown is awesome for fishing across, you know, uh, submerged grass, oyster beds. Uh, from, where is it? The Forgotten Coast in Florida, like Steenhatchee, Crystal River, um, Texas, Flats, all that stuff and all the flats in Virginia, North Carolina, Eastern Shore, the Paul Brown does work, you guys. It's awesome. So um, whether you're wade fishing, you're bank fishing, whatever, you have to have a Paul Brown in your arsenal, for sure. Uh, so anyways, you guys, comment below, please, all my Texas people and all my wade fishing people about how y'all like to work Paul Browns. Um, and so that's what I'm saying. You can do it, you can, you can vary your cadence. You can vary how you work this. It's a little bit more flexibility than just a mirrodin. Because a mirrodin, you know, you can't really, yeah, you can adjust the depth, but this being like a soft plastic uh, mold with a hard plastic design, it gives you a little bit more freedom in how you work it. So again, so this is how I'm working it. Just kind of like fishing soft plastics across Hello. Oh, I didn't have my drag set. <laughs> Is he gone? Yeah. Dang. I didn't have my drag set. Amateur hour, people. I didn't set my drag because I've just been... Uh... You haven't like been trying to actually catch a fish. I haven't been trying to catch a fish. That's, That's my excuse. crazy. Yeah, so... Anyways, y'all, that is the Paul Brown. So you can work it. See if we see if there's a little school of trout or something. Comment down below what kind of fish you think you missed. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, snook. <laughs> that's right. A snook. Maybe it was a tarpon. Um, but Probably anyways, y'all. So so you can do this just like a soft plastic, or like the mirrodin. Hit it with that little twitch twitch pause action. So it's cool because you can bend these Paul Browns with that wire that runs through the middle. Bend it up, bend it down, bend it to the side, and it's gonna give it a little bit more of like a erratic action to it. Um, so anyways, y'all, that right there, that's how you fish mirror lures. Just remember, when you're fishing the subsurface, twitch, twitch, pause is gonna, that's kind of the, that's twitch, twitch, pause when you're fishing the subsurface. That's, you know, what everybody knows about fishing a mirror lure, but, um, you guys just let the fish tell you what they want. Uh, remember, um, don't set the hook too much. Um, I will tell y'all that fishing a mirror lure is literally one of the easiest ways to catch saltwater fish. And especially for someone who's brand new to saltwater fishing, a mirror lure will absolutely do work. It's really easy. I mean, again, that's all you're doing. Just twitch, twitch, pause, and reel down. Twitch, twitch, pause, reel down. You guys repeat that and y'all will catch fish. So please comment below how y'all like to work your mirror lures. I literally just got hit right there. Right there, a fish just hit on the surface. Right. So fishing a mirror lure, it's one of the easiest ways to catch saltwater fish. It's also one of the most effective ways and it's how you're gonna catch that giant fish. Um, those treble hooks, I mean, it's just, fishing a jig is great, but fishing a mirror lure is such a fun bite. So to all you all, so, so to all y'all who are new to saltwater fishing, get yourself a mirror lure and twitch, twitch, pause. So 
that's all I got for today, people. Hopefully this video helps y'all catch more fish. Dude, hold on. <laughs> There's a fish following my mirror lure. All right, we're about to put the camera down and actually start catching some fish. But get out there, catch some fish, mirror lure, you cannot beat it. This is how you're going to catch some of the biggest fish and the most fish um, of your life. So there it is, people, how to fish a mirror lure. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Get up off your butt, go catch yourself some fish. Peace out.